All right, making some more progressions. The superstar hockey, Jay Wong here. Looking at a really awkward movement that'll help with alignment, particularly getting more shoulder stability in the context of creating hip extension and literally just aligning some posture components. Now, when he gets up to the top, you see here he's kind of curving at some point. This will express itself when he's doing overhead presses, changing direction, stuff like that. So when he gets up here, what he wants to try to do is create almost a perfect line. Pull your head back, Jason. Pull it back where you're kind of resting it into your, and look at yourself in the mirror. When he's in this particular position, we're looking to try to kill any type of curvature that's happening within the armpit region. Reason being is, when he goes to extend positions overhead, he goes to rotate, these things are moving independently and he's putting a lot of undue pressure and torque into the lower back. So he has to learn how to cohesively pull down into his hip. Then he goes to sit back here. He has to learn how to cohesively drive a hip extension pattern while he's driving cohesively now a retraction pattern through his shoulder blades. When he pulls his head back through, he's earning true hip extension. He's creating very good hip spacing. He's building some oblique strength. And when he goes to rotate through, he's also earning a little bit more space with the straight leg. This is great for freeing up tight components around the neck, the shoulders, the hips, and just helps alleviate a lot of inflammation that can happen in there. But this is a very awkward position. So we will progress into this. We've done a lot of strengthening techniques to give him more posterior chain activation first. Some strength there. We've created some other exercises to create some shoulder spacing. And now we've added that cohesive or that integrated habit to allow us to get into a position like this. Again, parameters and progressions are key to seeing success.